What's up fam? You tuned in with it here on the mic and today's topic is epigenetics. I'm going to try to keep it basic and simple as possible. Um, so basically epigenetics is how your genome is affected by your surroundings, your habitat, uh, and also how it's affected by how you perceive what's, you, what's, your, what's around you, what's your environment what your environment is and most people have been led to believe or we have thought in the past that your genes are just set and they're locked in but they're not um, you there are certain things that can be changed and over time can be can be reversed so the degradation of our our people it, t it took so it took time. We just kept we kept messing up over time, and, and then our genes fell. So we can actually reverse that process if we teach our children how to how to cleanse themselves, how to how to take care better care of themselves, how to remove those habits. Because even habits through epigenetics get passed on. People think that. They want to know why their their kid, or you know, why does he keep doing what his dad did? He never even, he wasn't even around his dad because that's in him. Even the habits are in him. It's not it's not just it's not just uh, physical traits. It's not. Uh, it's it's deep. It's really deep. Even the food. Whatever food, you, um, your your parents, your even your grandparents, whatever they ate, you are most likely gonna eat it. And that's why a lot of people associate. The, the genes with the genes with this, the diseases that they get. Oh, I got this gene. I'm probably gonna get this this cancer or this sickness. It's because you you still have your grandparents in you. You are part of your grandparents. So it's and it's it can be reversed. Your grandparents didn't fix their habits, and so it's it's like they they got that epigenetic tag, and it just sticked on. It's passed it to your mother, and it might it might even skip the generation. So, so these, these things can be reversed, but they have to be taken care of and they have to be taken seriously. Um, you're, so back to the environment, your environment affects, um, it affects you to a certain extent. If you perceive your environment to be a beautiful one, regardless of what it is, then you're going to move into a beautiful environment. You're going to move into a, a, a a more healthy situation your body's gonna it doesn't know any better your 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 subconscious doesn't know any better if it's real or not so if you that's why meditation and things like that if you go inside and you create a beautiful world for yourself this is why people talk about the law of attraction and dreaming and focus and intent it, they bringing that in they, they really pulling that world into 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 existence so um, if you can't get out of your situation that you're in right now, create a new one inside. Create a new one inside and then you'll see life change, but it gotta be consistent. You gotta always dream. You gotta really have that dream inside of you all the time. You gotta be thankful. You gotta feel the feeling like as if you were really there. Um, Cause not everybody get, can get out of their situation. So really you have two options. You have either get the hell out of there or make a situation for yourself better inside and become what you what you want become you have to actually go in and become that thing so take in consideration that if you have a habit that's an ill habit and you never got rid of it or you know you don't plan on getting rid of it or you don't care then you most likely just gonna pass it on to your future um, this is, uh, I wanted to also get into the kids, really, because I feel like this is that they're like the ultimate solution to this. Even if you can't get out of your situation, you created hell on earth for yourself, and you just got that little one for you, then you gotta do everything you can to make sure their perception on life is beautiful. Everything is beautiful, so that they, they can create a new world, because you couldn't manage, or you can't manage 
do it. We have to do it through the children if we can't do it. We have to expand their imagination. Let them know all things are possible. Because if you really believe that, then you're gonna go, you're gonna create, you're gonna create all types of crazy stuff. Beautiful, dope things that weren't conceived of. Because of most people, how, how we perceive life or the average person perceives life is, is really, it, it, that's not possible. The scientists say this, this, that. There's no imagination, There's, it's just restriction. It's like, it's like everybody's locked into this reality and it's, it's, it's like slowing up. It's like slowing up the evolution of the people. If everybody thought everything was possible, then, then there's no telling what type of technology we would have right now. The stuff we got right now, we, we've had it for a long time. A lot of the stuff, especially cars, uh, the technology, the radios, we still using that. There's there's way higher higher technologies that are out there that aren't ours. We got to do it ourselves. We have to, it has to be with it from the people. Okay, so the children are the key. The children, if you just if you really go in on them and let them know that they're infinite. This is why. I'd, Another reason why they don't want you to think that you God. When 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 people say when I say I'm God or I'm a God, then people I, I get people looking at me sideways. But my perception of me is not little. I don't perceive myself to be small. I, I perceive myself as a God. I'm a creator. So that way I feel I feel that way. If you feel godly, then you're gonna do you're gonna do you're gonna move into that situation if you feel less if you feel like you can't reach jesus or you can't reach buddha or then not, then you won't then you won't thrive for perfection regardless of if you can reach it or not well i mean we're probably i know why i can reach perfection but i'm gonna shoot for it and i'm going i'm going to tell my my kids you know you're a god you're a creator you have a whole universe inside you you know, we got worlds. We are our own world. Little, our, our cells, little people in there. Our tissues look like nations. You know, they do they do their job. You can't have blood cells banging on lung cells. You gotta be one. You gotta be one. All right. So um, this is a little short video on epigenetics. I'm not a, I'm not really um, great at explaining things like this I always wanted to kind of show you how I feel about about how things could be changed around it's kind of like a little idea I had through the children uh, I hope you enjoy just some, you know hopping into my mind this is not something you're not gonna get no great knowledge or epiphany from that I just want to put that in into your, your spotlight today and look at the children with a new light we could work with them man they, they're here to teach us really so it's it's a uh, it's people that's well, wait one more thing one more thing the grown folks they think that they are the teachers to the children they say you know don't do that this is how it's supposed to be this is that 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 that, that is tearing those children down tearing them down you got to tell them that they're infinite and they can do anything and really pump that into their head because it's true like if you look at the evolution of like sports, if you look at the evolution of craft, it's the it's it's the it's the kids that bring it out. If you look at let's use basketball for example, look at basketball in the 1950s versus the 2000s. It's like man, you put a you put a cat from the 2000s in the 50s, it's not even gonna make no sense. He's gonna run around those dudes. That's cause. That's the, that's the new generation. We faster. The newer generation is going to come quicker. It's, 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 it's a whole new genome. It's a whole new set of information coming from, coming from the sun or coming from where our genes go through this evolutionary process. So this is a little message for the kids. I hope y'all enjoy. Peace.